Okay, so here we are in Pro Tools, and we have our guitar link as our interface. And you see we're getting some noise. We're not getting clean playback. So I'll turn that down. So the problem is, we come up here to Setup and Hardware. We launch our Setup app. Under ASIO, you see under system performance we have this set to high speed. High speed usually works fine for other applications, but for Pro Tools, the best setting is rapid. And if we look here in Playback Engine, you'll see we get a warning that says your audio device is configured with an unsupported audio buffer size. So what we need to do, let's go back here to Setup and Hardware, launch our Setup app, go here to the ASIO tab, changes to rapid. When we do that, you'll have to save and quit your session and restart Pro Tools. We'll click save. And OK. Then Pro Tools will shut down. So now we'll relaunch Pro Tools 9. We are to have our iLog in the USB port. So let's relaunch Pro Tools 9. I always like to launch Pro Tools 9 with run as administrator, even though it's already set up to default to run as administrator. It just became a habit with me over the years from right clicking. So we'll relaunch Pro Tools 9. Once Pro Tools 9 is launched, we'll cancel out of the quick start. We'll make sure our hardware is set up correctly. Okay, so we have it set to 44.1, and it's on rapid. Application priority is normal. You can change this, but it doesn't really seem to make that much of a difference for Pro Tools. Then we'll launch a new session. Since the guitar link seems to only be able to do 16 bit, we'll of course choose 16 bit for our session. And it's set to 44 1, so we'll choose 44 1. Click OK. We'll just give this some strange name. So then we'll hit Control Shift and N to get our tracks. We'll get a mono audio track, instrument track, and stereo, and a stereo master fader. So here's our tracks. So now if I go to my insert on my instrument track, go down to instruments and choose, say, strike, we'll just load some drum samples, and we'll just play some loops. So we still have kind of a weird problem here. Let's try this with 11. Here's 11 plug-in. So if we record and enable this track. So we kind of get a weird sound. So that's not right at all. So the problem is our session is at 44.1. The guitar link seems to work properly at 48k. So what we'll do is create a new session at 48k, make sure our guitar link is set to 48k, and then try that out. So we'll go up to setup and hardware. We'll launch our setup app, change it to 48k. Make sure this is still set on rapid, and you can change this, but it seems to always default back to normal once you launch Pro Tools again. So we'll hit close. Then we'll have to restart Pro Tools. Then we'll just save the session. So now we'll relaunch Pro Tools 9 and create a new session at 48K. And we already have our guitar link set up for Rapid. So now Pro Tools is launched. We'll click Cancel on the Quick Start, go to Setup, and check our settings. We're at 48K, 16 bit. This is on Rapid. That's what we want. Go to File, we'll say New Session, 16-bit, changes to 48K, and hit OK. Let's give this another strange name, and start our session. We can hit Control shift n that's our shortcut, and we'll create some tracks here. There's our tracks. Let's open up 11, 11 Artez. 11 Artez, just like Pro Tools 9, the authorization runs off an iLock. And so does Strike, which we're going to launch as well. And we'll launch strike. We'll hit the target button here so we can have both plugins open. So they choose a trend plate. 
And my favorite microphone is the 87 off axis. We'll hit record here to record enable the track. We'll get that familiar buzz. Let's turn the gate up. So now I got my guitar plugged in already. Again, you're just hearing PC speakers recorded through the microphone of the camera. So the audio is not high quality, but you can still get the point. So let's play something here. works. Then we'll come over here to strike. We'll just choose a random drum kit and hit a loop. So you can see the audio is nice and clear. So I think you get the idea. So that's how you would set up the guitar link to work with Pro Tools 9. The settings that work best for me, again, or 48k and under the ASIO tab system performance is set to rapid your session needs to be 16 bit by 48k those settings seem to work just fine for me so that ends this more detailed video of the guitar link running Pro Tools 9